people are starting to receive their targeted EIDL advances. This is big news all of us have been waiting for. I'm gonna talk about the latest information and what you can expect and do a brief recap of the targeted EIDL grant program and the new $15 billion allocated towards this program in the $2 trillion stimulus package. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. It's Sunday, March 7th. Very quick video update today on some positive news. We've been waiting months for this news. You know, there are millions and millions of people who've applied for the EIDL grant program and you've all been patiently waiting. The good news I covered yesterday was that the $1.9 trillion stimulus package was passed in the Senate. So it is pretty much a done deal. It has to go back to the House for formality. It's expected to pass there without any more changes. And then it will go to Biden for a signature sometime this week. I did a recap yesterday afternoon on here's what's in the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. It's likely in its final form. Despite the political split, again, it was exactly down party lines. Most of you, at least most of you watching this channel, said you support this bill. As of this morning, 87% of you supported this bill. 13% said you don't support it. This is one of our live polls on our YouTube channel. Again, if you're interested, you can hit the community tab on our YouTube homepage to see our polls. You know, one we did a few days ago was who's still waiting for a targeted EIDL grant email? 50% of you are. Who's gotten an email? 46% of you had said yes and 4% of you said you received the targeted EIDL grant balance. However, until today, we had not heard specifically from any folks that they've received it, that they actually received it. Many questions in this thread, 113 comments said, if you received it, speak up. So we figured most people had hit this option by accident because SBA representatives said the same thing. Everyone was still waiting. We hadn't sent money yet until this morning where one of our users, shout out to David, who's been amazing. By the way, if you ever have tips for us, such as things you want to share about your situation, you can email us tips at helloskip.com. It's a great way to help, especially if you are getting progress. I think a lot of this is giving hope to all of you who are still waiting. So anytime, email us tips at helloskip.com, especially if you start to receive this funding. Now, here's the screenshot. I'm going to talk about this, but I want to give a quick 30 second recap of the entire EIDL grant process just to refresh our memories because we've been covering this for a year. March 27th, last year, the CARES Act passed. That was $2.2 trillion. In that was $20 billion for EIDL advances. Now, the SBA has historically helped small businesses. As part of this legislation, they decided to give advances with the intent of quickly getting money to small businesses who are struggling. Many of you we're trying to figure out how to pay rent for your business, how to survive. So that was why the EIDL Advanced Program, AKA Grants, was started. 20 billion, 1K per employee, up to 10 employees. So you could get up to $10,000. That was quickly exhausted within around three months. The 20 billion was gone. According to the SBA, around 10 million people applied. Only 70% of you received something. And for most of you, it was less than you thought. You thought you were gonna get 10K, maybe you only got 1K or 2K. Fast forward five, six months, December 27th, the last $900 billion bill was signed into law, which allocated $40 billion for EIDL grants. However, in the legislation, they said, we're not gonna open it back up to everyone who applied last time. It's gonna be targeted for people who need it the most. So two main provisions there. Number one, you had to be in a low income community. And number two, you had to show revenue declined by around 25%. There were a couple other eligibility requirements, but those were the main two. And then in January, the SBA finally clarified the legislation. It's taking them weeks for all of this, which I've expressed frustration about. You know, the SBA is doing many great things, such as distributing over $200 billion in PPP loans for this round so far. They're still behind, but they're making progress. Meanwhile, the EIDL side of the coin, barely anything's been done. It took them over three weeks to issue guidance on who would be eligible, who could apply for these. Meanwhile, on our app, we built a few calculators to help you out. You know, we were waiting for the SBA, but we said, hey, what can we do in the meantime? So we gave you a way to track stimulus progress, vaccine progress, PPP progress, but let me just pull up EIDL grant progress. We built this tracker so you could see how much you'd be eligible for it. And we improved this when the SBA finally released the guidelines. So you can see based on the rules, are you eligible for the targeted EIDL grant or not? And does your address qualify? That's the big one. Everyone's question was great. I applied last year. I'm low income. Am I in a low income community or not? So we had nearly 100,000 of you use this. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's at trackeidlgrant.com or hello skip in the app store or Google Play. Anyway, we built this while we were waiting for the rules to come out. 
one thing we did recently was add in the SBA data set, which in some cases differs from our lookup. You know, we are using the IRS data source, but for whatever reason, we've heard reports that you're seeing discrepancies. So you may want to double check. After checking your address here, it can hurt to double check an SBA data source as well. So if you click more info here, we've added it in now. You can scroll down where it says new map, check the new map. Again, it's a third party that publishes a lot of data and they give the disclaimer, the purpose of this tool to help you understand if you qualify for targeted the ideal grant or not. Click go to map and you can put in your address as well. So that's another way to validate. It can't hurt to double check, cover your bases. And that link is on our EIDL tracker as well. I did a video on our app earlier today under our see new grant opportunities here you know this is available for skip plus members you can start a free trial so it can't hurt to try out let me just show you what we added in earlier today up to 150k line of credit from funbox we've partnered with funbox i go over into some of the pros and cons and we have our partner link here as well but i do a quick three minute overview of the program and i'm going to be doing this more and more either myself or a team member where we not only describe the programs that may be eligible for you we curate all these grants and funding options for you but we'll be doing brief video overviews for you as well with the idea that you can quickly understand pros and cons. Should you do this? Are you eligible? How does it work? Etc. Those basic questions. So we've just put this up again, 1,000 to 150,000 lines of credit from Fundbox. They're relatively low interest and they can give decisions right away. So if you are tired of waiting for some of these competitive grant programs, just check it out. It can't hurt. You can always be approved and say no, but if you don't apply, you never know. This is under see new grant opportunities on the Hello Skip app. You can also read our stimulus package breakdown as well from yesterday. I started to talk about that, but I include the main highlights, direct payments, unemployment insurance, 300 per week, 160 billion for vaccine distribution, up to 3,600 in childcare tax credits, 170 billion for schools, rental assistance, eviction moratorium through September, that includes foreclosures, health insurance for laid off workers, 350 billion for states, cities, and tribal governments, 14 billion for eligible airlines, 48 billion for small businesses. This includes 25 billion for restaurants, 15 billion for additional targeted EIDL grants, 1.25 billion for venue operators, and 7.25 billion for additional PPP program funding. So this gets back to what I was saying. In short, there's lots of money out there. All of you have been waiting. If you applied last year and you're in a low income community, you probably got the email. If you applied this year or you're not in a low income area, we don't know yet what's going to happen, but I do encourage you to stay tuned because I expect new news, especially with the new EIDL funding in this stimulus package, $15 billion. So then we're going to have up to $55 billion for targeted EIDL grants. I've said this many times when we do the math, it seems like there's going to be plenty of funding here if it ever goes out and it looks like it's going out. This came in. This is what the dashboard will look like. Targeted advance. $9,000. So this is probably an individual who got $1,000 before he or she is now approved for the full 9,000. They said they hadn't gotten the money in their bank account yet, but they see this on their dashboard. So if you're curious, if you want to refresh, I'm just saying stuff is happening on the dashboard. If you want to take a look, I do expect finally that some of these will go out this week because it has now been around five weeks since emails started going out to people saying, Hey, you may qualify, fill out the targeted EIDL grant application. It's been two weeks since folks have gotten the email to log in and sign their 4506T. That's the review and sign documents on the screenshot here. So that's a few weeks old. So I expect the time is right. This week, we should see thousands and thousands of you getting approved. I'd love to hear, have you been approved? Do you see this change or are you still waiting for the email? That's the quick update today, a little targeted EIDL grant overview. Stay tuned, stay positive, stuff's happening. Do consider hitting subscribe for every new subscriber. We are donating a dollar. So if you want to help others or even have a chance at winning yourself, hit subscribe every new subscriber. It's a dollar back to subscribers of this channel and users of our app. The app is free, links in the description. And tomorrow it looks like I'm gonna pick around 13 or 14 winners to give $100 grants to. If you wanna be in the running, all you have to do is subscribe and log into our app. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.